who is Jake Dunlop? Who is, I mean, that's very existential, you know, when I think about like, who am I? Uh, you know, look, I mean, I'm a dad, I'm a Chiefs fan, a Royals fan. We've got, we're off to a hot start, Kansas City Royals. And look, I'm somebody who's really passionate about sales, right? Like I, 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 you know, I've been in sales for over 20 years, you know, most of that in sales leadership after a certain point. And, you know, I'm somebody who is also really, I love the future. You know, I love uh, you know, generative AI and the changes and transformation it's going to be. And I'm somebody who always is kind of thinking about, you know, where where is the ball going and kind of disrupting the status quo, uh, which, you know, when I was full time would get me fired from time to time. But, you know, now that I don't have a boss to answer to, it, it's a little bit easier. How long have you uh, been running scaled? Like, and then let's go, like, I guess, into the founding story. Why did you decided to to be your own boss and uh, build scaled? Well, it's been eleven years, which is crazy to kind of think out loud. And I never thought I would start a company. You know, I never had this like big. I'm going to be an entrepreneur. You know, kind of, I guess, vibe or thought process. Like I think a lot of people do today. You know, I. I think what for me what it was is I you know it's a multiple time VP of sales was very successful at the work, you know building the sales org scaling sales really quickly and I and I really enjoyed it and I think after my second VP of sales stint I, I was just like what's next like is this my life now my life is just going to be because I mean look for all of you and like let's just call it what it is right if you're a if you're a sales leader you're going to have runs of a year and you're going to have runs of three years and four years, but you're going to be replaced, right? There's very, very few sales leaders who said, yeah, I've been at the exact same high growth company for six years. It just, it doesn't happen. And I, and I thought to myself, just being very realistic, like, is this it? I'm just going to go from company to company. I'll make equity and money and I'll, you know, it'll be great, but am I fulfilled? And I was like, why am I doing this for other people? Why don't I just go help companies do it at scale? And that's, you know, really what happened, you know, there's always, you know, I could have went back and been a VP somewhere again, but it just wasn't challenging, you know, like, I mean, not, I'm not to like say it was like easy all the time, but I just, I didn't feel like I was growing at the rate that I wanted to. And, you know, being a CEO is much different than being a, a sales leader. There's just a lot of other implications. And I think it was just kind of like a logical decision of like, well, if this is going to be the future, you're not excited about it then the logical would be to like take the skill set that you have and go do it for other people, you know, like as a, you know, and then also the, the other big thing is I hated working with consultants. I worked with consultants at both companies uh, where I was a VP at Glassdoor and at Chartbeat. And both, both times I was left like at the end of the engagement being like, what am I supposed to do with this report? Like, it's really easy to come in and poke holes. And, and what I saw the need in the market was people needed help with strategy for sure, but they needed help with the tactical execution. And so that's really one of the foundations of why I started Scaled was, you know, to just be, you know, marketing gets all the support. They've got a PR agency, a web design agency, a performance marketing agency, all these experts that they bring in that can be truly experts and sales really that that didn't exist. And, you know, now for revenue operations and, and you know, the different things where process improvement and technology, you know, we really are, you know, that firm for companies to be that kind of tactical, you know, strategic plus tactical, you know, partner. And what size, what, what type of companies, what size are these? I, I'm, I'm sure that you're probably not a, a good fit for everybody, right? Yeah. I mean, usually these are companies, you know, we're working with companies that already are, you know, doing at least a few million dollars in revenue. Usually that's when like, you know, like there's a stage in company. It's funny. Companies will come to us early and I'm like, go figure it out. Like you don't need a repeatable process. You need, you need something that works, you know, too, too many people try to focus on being scalable too fast. And then, or they think, you know, I'm doing a million dollars and I've got product market fit, which is not true. So, you know, usually I'd say most of our clients are, you know, later stage tech. And I mean, later stage could be series B or C or private equity backed companies that are trying to really operationalize. But look, to me, it's more about the, the, the problem that you need solved. You know, do you need, you know, to really start to systematize some of the things that you're doing or are you still in figure it out phase? You know, and, that, and that's a really important distinction, I think, for a lot of companies where it's like, no, like the answer is to just grind your face off for a little bit longer. Like there's, there is no repeatable machine to be built yet. Right. And so, but a lot of people want to try to put in place something too soon sometimes.